hello friends hope you are all doing well in this video we are going to create the retrieval of data from mysql and php so um, this is the existing project in which we have created the insertion module we are today going to create a, ret a retrieval module so this is the file i have created and i am just going to set the boilerplate as you can see on the screen the boilerplate is already i am going to create a h1 tag in the body and i am just writing the details over there and inside the paragraph i want to retrieve or fetch the data from the my sql table and just print on the screen inside the paragraph tag using php so let me show you that how can you do it so inside the paragraph you just have to write the php script uh, for that purpose you have to open the php uh, brackets and inside that you have to uh, import the config.php file just because to create the connection with this file so you can use require once and write the file name as config.php and after that you have to create a variable with the name of sql you can write any name in the variable i am going to write sql and the query should be inside the inverted commas as you can see this is the table in uh, mysql and i am going to retrieve the data of email column so i am writing select email um, select email from the table name is contact so i can just write contact over here and just put the semicolon after that because i want to fetch all the data from that table I am just writing another variable let's say it is result and the result will uh, contain the connection uh, variable first that is actually created in the config.php file and here you have to pass the query variable so uh, this is the query function over here and the variable you have created above should be passed inside the circular brackets okay now we have to create the if and else block for checking whether the data is available or not if the data is available so it will show on to the web page or if the data is not available it will just print an statement that, that will display as zero result found so here i am going to check result if there is any row inside the mysql table if the records exist so obviously the record should be the row should be greater than zero so for that case you have to create a while loop and inside that while loop you have to write the row result fetch association that is actually a function and inside this function you have to write echo and inside that echo you can just um, uh, pass the html tag that is actually span inside that span you have to concatenate the row variable and that row variable will fetch the data from the my sql table and specifically the column from the specifically column of email and you have to close that span tag again after concatenating the row email variable all right so all the data will be fetched and just print on a single line for that purpose you have to pass the br break line tag from html just to break the line and i am just passing here break to just print a single record in else statement you can write zero result if there is no record in the mysql table so it will show us zero record instead of showing the empty page okay so all the thing has now been ready there is an error let me check what is the reason it is showing an error okay so the error has been removed let's just go on to the web page just write localhost make sure the zamp is started in your pc so the localhost slash insertion this is the web page that we have created in the last session and uh, today we are just going to retrieve the data and the data has been retrieved as tuition tonight at the gmail.com as you can see only one record found in our table so that one record has been showed on to the web page 
okay now let me just change the column name as a name so it will just extract the name instead of email address so when i just refresh and it is just fetching the name from the database from the column name and if i go into the index.php and again insert another record that is actually abc at the rate gmail.com and the message should be anything random send message that record has been stored into the database and when i just go into retrieve uh, let me just remove the break keyword from here because it will just show the first record after removing the break it will just pass uh, all the data one by one into my web page from the database mysql so this is how you can easily create the retrieval and fetching a module in php with the help of my sql integration so this is how you can easily create into a single paragraph tag hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel tuition tonight and please share this video among your friend meet you in our next session with the new concept of php and my sql thank you